What's going on, y'all? This is your day interview for October 7, 2015. And, hmm, sorry, y'all. My nephew didn't warn me, y'all. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, but so far, day is trying to get there. It's trying. Slowly but slowly. It's getting there, kind of. Basically, they need to hurry up and get their shit together. So, we get to JJ, and he there still, I guess he trying to hold Clyde there now. Think that's the port or whatever the hell it is. Someplace here, man, he decided to meet up with Clyde. So, we get there or what now, whatever. And JJ basically trying to make you spill the damn beans. That he a drug dealer, but Clyde, he ain't did this so long, and he ain't been in the game so long, that he know what J.J., what J.J. trying to do, and, and he know what he was trying to do, but he's not falling for it, and J.J. trying, and you know he's trying, he tried, he, he basically, he tried everything he can. Clyde still ain't saying nothing like Clyde playing stupid, but Clyde, like I said, yeah, Clyde a little sloppy at times. Yes, Clyde is the son of a bitch. Yes, Clyde is this, that, and the other one. But one thing you can say about Clyde, Clyde is the smartest, Clyde smartest fucking know what and know when something don't smell right. And JJ, I get what you was doing. I know you trying to protect your family or whatnot, but at what cost, homeboy? Like, is Clyde would have suspected or would have grabbed your pants the right way and got that phone out there out your pocket? He probably would have killed you and threw your body in the river or whatever. And he would have threw your body in the river or whatever and would have been done with you. Just like he did Kyle. We ain't seen Kyle ever since Clyde busting across the head. So, all we know Clyde is dead. And JJ, you a little sloppy. You could have came off a little bit better how you tried to set Clyde up or make him confess to something. But luckily, Roman was there to keep track of the progress. And you know... The track the address where you was, listening on the phone. The phone didn't get connected, disconnected, or whatnot. But JJ, that was sloppy as fuck, home. But I'm gonna be dead as honest. I was gonna be nice, but I chose not to be nice. JJ, that was sloppy as fuck. You could have did a lot more better. I don't know if you was rushing that scene, or the writer was telling you to rush it, or that's how they wrote it, but that was sloppy as fuck. But on your behalf, JJ, Clyde was cool, calm, and collective. He was getting mad at you because you were trying to set him up. Now he know you were setting him up. And JJ, don't be surprised if, if Abigail get hurt or your mama get hurt. Uh, you know, Clyde, best if to see his goons after you now that you didn't got that man arrested. Your drugs. Uh, you know, Clyde can go away for a long time for them drugs, well, 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 selling drugs or whatnot. So, you know, he can go away a long time and they can connect him to these drugs. But Salem PD, I ain't got no faith in them. Watch when we see Clyde again. He watch when we see Clyde again. Magically, he gonna be an escape or whatnot. He gonna be an escape, or he gonna be out for under them charges. Cause like I said, Clyde ain't no stupid man. Yeah, he's sloppy sometimes. Yeah, he do shit that's uncalled for. But Clyde is a smart ass man. Let me see what else happened today. So we get to Steve, and you know he's looking for more clues to find out where Bo at or whatnot. And so he finds a room where there's a cassette player or footage, some footage of Bo, and he thinks Bo dead or whatnot. Cause he see them drag a body. He didn't see them. He didn't see Bo body, but. He seen the video or uh, looked like somebody dragging a dead body out leading blood, which he saw. So now he assuming 
that that was bold and he done went and told Victor and upset Victor and everybody else. Like I said, Steve, you could have investigated that a little bit more. You could have investigated that a little bit more better than what you did. Like I said, I'm questioning the riders on days. I can't wait to these new riders till we see they work with these new riders. We supposed to be just supposed to be getting on days. Cause they just what we get and it's like it's sloppy and it's rushed. Basically the writing look like it's sloppy and rushed and shit like that don't happen in real life. Just now that you see that off on footage, like for Steve to see this footage and the thing all of a sudden Bo dead and he ain't see Bo dead body or nothing like that and he believed this dumb ass footage like I said it should have been more on to that I don't know if they cut some scenes off of that but how they gave that to us that was sloppy too like how the fuck and he see some footage that may or may not be real a body bag and somebody dragging the body with blood Ah, uh, we could have known that could have been somebody else dead body being dragged in a body bag or whatnot. So Steve believed that's Bo, and he went and told Victor. I hope he gets well. I hope we get more from that scene, basically. So Kayla, Hope, Maggie, and Victor all around Caroline, hoping she all wake up praying or whatnot, hoping that Caroline, you know, wakes up. Or at least get better. But she did happen to manage to get up or whatnot. She did happen to get up. She was having a seizure, I think it was. Uh, she was having something. And she was like in pain. And then we get the Bo. They gave him the same drug, I think. And Bo having pains. So basically, Caroline having flashbacks of all her children while they talking to her. Like, they were having flashbacks of scenes of Caroline and all, like, Kayla was talking to her, she had dad, Victor talked to her, she had vision of Bo and all that. Like I said, it was a little cute little scene, Caroline reminiscing of her children and Victor and Kayla and all them, and Bo and all them. So, I did that. So Roman arrested Clyde, I already said that. And finally, Caroline, you know, she wakes up from her slumber. They said she was going to be in the coma, but surprisingly, she woke up and was talking. And I'm so happy, I'm happy, I'm happy about that. Caroline finally getting better by the looks of it. I hope she improves and get better in walking and talking. I miss the old Caroline, to be honest. I want Caroline to do fucking better. I hope this drug does her better and we can get our old Caroline back. Because this Caroline here, it breaks my heart every time I see it. Because I love Caroline. I love Caroline and I love her character, period. I forgot her, her real name. But I love Caroline Brady, period. I love her character. And I hope this drug works and she get better. And then Bone, he got up and, and he made the people think that were telling him hostage that they had the upper hand on him. And Bo started fighting bad. Bo beat their ass and all that. We got Bo fighting now. So Bo getting better too. And now he kicking ass and I was glad to see Bo fighting and being his normal self again. I was screaming and hollering at the TV while Bo was fighting them people off of him. And he said he had known. Yes, please, Bo, head home. Please. Please don't, uh, please don't ruin this um, day's right. Y'all doing so good. Please let Bo get home in one piece for this, for, Brock, for this fucked up wedding star with Aiden and Hope. Bo, please hurry up. And riders, don't y'all rook don't I mean don't y'all prolong this. Let Bo come on home. And that's about all I got for y'all today. Like I said, days was alright. It was interesting, very. But yeah, that's about all I got for y'all. Like, share, comment, subscribe to my channel. Share this everywhere. Follow me on all my social media platforms at San Juan Andreas. And I will see you later. Bye.